taller Elvis, Kurt Browning, just some of the superstars in Canadian figure skating history. You might be adding the name Patrick Chan to that list soon. He won the 2008 Canadian Figure Skating Championships. He is over in Sweden preparing for this week's World Figure Skating Championships. He's on the line with us now. Good morning to you, Patrick, or I guess good afternoon over in Sweden. Hey, yes, good afternoon, yes. So, tell me how you feel going into your first, I know it's not that, you know, you won silver at the World Juniors in Paris last year, but how do you feel this year at the World Championship? Um, really, this, this time I'm just so excited to be here, period. It's, uh, it's just like a, it's a mock-up of what the Olympics are going to be, sort of, so I'm just learn, having a learning experience right now and just having a real good time. Uh, this is the only time I'm going to have the chance to before because uh, next year they're going to have to expect a lot more from me and uh, so I just have the most fun I can right now. Do you think you're coming in under the radar just a little bit, you know, is there, and is there an advantage for you when you come in sort of as the underdog or is it still at the World Figure Skating all about sort of, you know, what you did last year? Um, yeah, I guess there's a certain advantage of being the underdog. Um, I do agree with that because really people don't expect uh, anything from you. You just so really you have no pressure, uh, sort of, and uh, mm. so you just give your best shot. You just but there's still you, I'm still a bit nervous. You know, I'm still worried and have some concerns because I just want to skate my best and skate two good clean programs. So what have you tweaked since the winning the Canadian Championships in such great style that you did? Have, what have what have I changed? Yeah, what have you tweaked and changed since then? Okay. Um, well, in the, my free program, uh, I added another triple axle to the program. Um, at nationals, I only had one triple axle, which is the hardest jump in the program. And uh, I really decided after the nationals that I would add another one uh, in preparation for the Olympics. Now, working with your coach, Don Laws, who coached Scotty Hamilton, and he's in Florida, how does that relationship work? when you live and go to school in Toronto? Um, you know, it's, we have a good relationship and we're both really like kind of soulmates, so really it's easy to work together. So I'm able to travel back and forth and not see him constantly. It does, it's not, doesn't bother, as much, bother me as much. Um, so I don't find it too much of a problem, but, uh, and we, all, we have a very good relationship. We're like, we're all, I consider it almost as if we're part of the same family. We're like brothers, so um, there's no problem at, at all with the distance. He describes your skating as such a great blend of athleticism and, and grace. When you're skating well, what does that feel like for you on the ice? When I skate well, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like I'm pretty much in a dream, you know. It's, it's a feeling that I, I'm only going to get once in a lifetime. So, you know, to be there and to be in that moment is just great. You know, I experienced it at Nationals, um, skated in a phenomenal program and it was so, so good. Like, it was like a huge weight had lifted from my shoulders, so um, it's just a great feeling that I hope, I hope to repeat it again. You talk about this year's Worlds being a learning experience for you as you gear up for that all-important 2010 in Vancouver and the Olympic mm -hmm. Games. Tell me how you keep that, um, where is that on the list of priorities? How big is that for you? The Olympics? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, the Olympics is like, Gosh, it's just, it's, I dream of it every night, you know, I think about it every night before I go to bed, so, you know, it's, it's pretty much um, on the top of my priority list, you know, I just want to be there, period, um, you know, because who, who, like, there's so many people in the world that, that want to be at the Olympics, it's just, it's just the experience and being there and meeting so many people and being at that opening ceremony uh, at, at the Olympics, so, you know, it's, it's such a huge event, it's, it's, um, it's a really special event in the world. Yeah. Well, Patrick Chen, we'll all be watching you this week. No pressure. Uh, you <laughs> begin on Friday, of course, and uh, CBC will have coverage of it, and we look forward to watching you. Thanks for Super. joining us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Patrick Chan, and when you do watch him skate well, boy, it does. When he described it, it's like a dream. Uh, that's what it looks like. It just looks so effortless for him. Heather. Colleen, that was very interesting. Loved it. Thank you very much. And, uh, of course, we'll be watching closely, as you said.